Narcissistic relationships are all about slow demoralization, personality breakdown of the survivor or the victim, and chronic abuse. Narcissists leave no stone unturned when it comes to shaming, defaming, belittling, and humiliating the victim. And because of this, the victims leave the relationships feeling broken and devastated. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional, and today I'll be talking about 10 secrets that a narcissist hopes you never learn. Before we begin, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel by pressing that subscribe button and push that bell icon so that you stay updated with everything latest that I post here. I also request you to share these videos with your friends, with the groups that you are a part of, so that the message spreads as far and wide as possible. So let's begin. Number one. There is nothing wrong with you. The whole relationship with a narcissist is all about how you are the one who is uh, lacking things, how you are the one who is not enough, how you are the one who is not doing this and that, how you are the one who is always making mistakes. Because this way, and the narcissist is able to control you. This way, if you feel uh, that you are the one who is lacking something or you are the one who is not enough it gives the narcissist the uh, ideal ground the ideal situation to abuse and confuse and manipulate you which is why creating this doubt in you is an important step for a narcissist to inflict the abuse and the pain they do in the relationship but the thing that they never want you to know ever is that there is nothing wrong with you. It is them who were so critical and found faults in everything because it is their lacking that they are projecting on you. It is their not enoughness that they are projecting on you. And they do not want you to know that. They want you to stay in this under this impression that you are not enough and that gives them the way to control. Number second, they are afraid of humiliation. The biggest narcissistic injury that you can ever inflict a, nar a narcissist with is humiliation. It is through the exposure of their true self, of their deeds, of what they do behind the mask before everyone where there is nothing that they can use to escape from what is going on. So this ultimate humiliation that they can potentially ex experience and go through if exposed, this is something that they are afraid of. Which is why you see most narcissists and the narcissist you were with or you are with investing so much effort into keeping that public image intact. This is why they put in so much time, money, and every kind of inf investment uh, you can imagine to look good in the eyes of the people. Because they do not want their rottenness, their other side, to be exposed. This is the pain point. This is something that they do not want you to know. Number third is that one of the, their biggest fears is the fear of rejection. Narcissists are like parasites. You can imagine a leech. A leech cannot live or exist without sucking the blood from a host's body or a, you know, another being's body. They, this leech has to attach its, itself with someone or something so that it can survive. This is how a narcissist is internally. They are parasitic in nature and they have to have the sources of supply in their life to survive. Their center of emotional regulation is always outside of their body, of who they are. And they do not want you to know that. Which is why they present themselves as someone who is, you know, really confident in being alone and, you know, is completely independent but deep down inside they are more codependent than codependents themselves this is 
one of the biggest reasons why they are so afraid of losing the control losing the grip it's a small child who's afraid of losing the parent so this is how it goes their personality on the surface may come across or may be shown as something else by them but deep inside it's completely opposite number 4 is that you are not inferior in any way or form to their other targets and victims narcissists use one more brutal technique to control and abuse you which is called triangulation they use someone else to prove that you are the crazy one you are the wrong one here they defame they shame they belittle you but through someone else it is an indirect way of abusing and they portray this someone else that they compare you with as being perfect as being better than you as having superior qualities than what you possess but they do not want you to know the fact which is that this person that they are comparing you with is neither better nor worse than you and it is surprising to know that they use the same technique with this other person as well where they portray you as the perfect one better than them to belittle and humiliate them so it's a technique that they always use to somehow induce shame and then control you through shame and guilt and you need to understand that you are neither better nor worse than the people they are comparing you with it is just one of the tactics of control and abuse number 5 is that they do not care about you narcissists are very predatory in nature and you are their prey once they capture you they feed on you they are done which is why they discard their supplies at the end they do not want you to know that they do not give a damn about whether you are alive or dead the only thing that they need from you is the supply that you have to give them you can call it fuel you can call it their driving force and which is why they keep you in their life other than that once they are done with you they are done with you they literally erase you from their memories because they do something called selective amnesia where they just focus on what is in the present what is in um uh, their present visual field or attention field once you are out of that you are out of their head and heart and they do not miss crave or you know want you back the way you feel and experience it's completely different for them the only time they want you back or miss you is when they do not have other sources of supply in their life when their secondary sources are gone and you as a primary source you are the only option that they can utilize at a given moment before we move to the number 6 i just wonder and i'm curious to know what is it that you think uh, narcissists do not want people to know what was it that you got to experience please share that in comments below and help people become aware and help me as well to learn more number 6 is their double life with the other sources and forms of love supply a, nurse, a narcissist always has multiple sources of supply at their disposal it's not only you or always you uh, there are many sources of supply in different forms and shapes present in their life they do not want you to know how they are living a double life a secret life behind their back which is why they are so afraid of sharing their passwords with you which is why they become so angry if you um occasionally try to look into their phone which is why they come across as very secretive which is why brutal cheating betrayal is always a part of the narcissistic relationship so they do not want you to know that they have a secret life they would do anything in their capacity to always keep it as a secret and you must understand and remember that it is not your fault as in 
to uh, to explain why they are doing this it is them who never feel fulfilled by just one person or one thing they have to have different sources so that they keep jumping from one to the other in search of that high that supply that they always need number seven that they are deeply insecure behind their mask that they project that insecurity onto you narcissists come across as very confident charismatic overly charismatic and you know appealing but least do you know that they are deeply insecure about so many things they they are related with be it their body be it how they look in public be it the things that people are not so concerned about normally so their levels of insecurities are sky high and in order to minimize them in order to suppress them they project those insecurities on you you have to understand that there is one presumption one assumption they make in their mind which is that there is nothing wrong with me i can never be at fault if someone is at fault it's her it's him it's the dog it's this door it can never be me i am the perfect one so the insecurities that they have within they do not see them as their insecurities they see them as yours they explain it to themselves even that way that what they are feeling is something because of you because something you did it is you who is at fault so you need to know and understand that they are full of insecurities and whatever they projected on you is not your truth it is something that is their truth but the thing is that they are not willing or ready to face it number 8 is that they are jealous of you they want everyone's attention and praise and want to isolate you it's like a 5 year old who has to have everything and who gets easily jealous of the other child so you have to know and understand that they want everything to be theirs and leave you with nothing which is why they isolate you from others which is why they hate your friend circle which is why they hate your family which is why everyone who is close to you is a bad person in their eyes these are the reasons why they isolate and do the things that they do to uh, you know break your support system because they are jealous and they want everything for themselves they want you because they see you as a toy and they just want to play with you only and you have to be theirs only this is how their brain and you know thinking works they are first jealous and they want everything you know to them and no one else can have a part of it number 9 Narcissism is nothing more than a continuously crumbling defense system against discovery. It is more of a crust than any real protection. You have to understand that this narcissism and the the concept of false self that these people have, it's all about hiding. It's all about running away. It's all about suppression. It's all about avoidance. the whole thing of narcissism exists because they do not want to deal with the real issue they do not want to face the trauma that is present always deep inside within them and they suppress it to the extent that their real self it dies and it fades away and there is nothing left all you get to see is a crust is a shell and there is no one living in the shell the person the narcissist that you saw was a shell of nothing because the person was already dead this is painful to hear and say a sad but this is the truth that what you see was a shell was a crust and there was no one living within it is a defense system narcissism it's something that continuously crumbles 
because it cannot sustain itself it, it always has to outsource itself through the external supply number 10th and the final is that narcissists are afraid of abandonment they do not want to be left alone if you leave two people alone in a desert one is a narcissist and the other one is not narcissist the narcissistic one would not last for even an hour this is how deep their abandonment issues are but they pretend that you know they do not need anyone which is why uh, a couple of minutes ago i i talked about how they are more codependent than codependents themselves it's important to understand that narcissists center of emotional regulation is always outside of them they need people to give a meaning to their own existence without the external uh, supply they cannot exist which is why the policy of no contact is like the poison for a narcissist because once you cut them off they lose the power they lose complete power and then the real struggle comes in which is why they start hoovering and they start you know trying uh, to get back in your life and have you uh, in their trap again so it's all about narcissistic supply and they are afraid of abandonment they are afraid of rejection and all of these things these are the very important things for you to know and understand because narcissists may you know um, come across as really dangerous and powerful and what not but you have to understand that under the surface it's all rotten it's all you know filled with pain but they do not want to acknowledge it they do not want to go there and they just want to you know let it up suppress it ab- abandon whatever is going on deep inside to the point that they lose complete access and they are dead inside i hope today i was able to help you understand what narcissists are afraid of you knowing i will talk with you soon in the next one till then let the healing begin